Hello everyone, Susugemi here and welcome back to another War Thunder episode. We're in the dev server of Danger Zone update. We're gonna check out the new stuff. So, starting with the USA, we have new squadron vehicle. Abrams of Kangaroo Nation. Is that your flag now? We still have the thick turret of the Abrams uh, HC. We don't have the dozer blade though and the round is slightly weaker. Just 10 millimeters of difference. The round is called Kiwi, which is suspicious. The Abrams HC, I have first generation. This seems to have second one. Definitely get it. Like whatever squadron vehicle you're researching now, start going towards this. And of course, the main star of this update, F-14A early. In real life, this plane have three variations. So we might have other Tomcats in future. Surprisingly, no premium versions. You can create a custom loadout and equip eight missiles. Air-to-air -air missiles, aim 54A. These guys have 100 kilometers of effective range. But don't get cocky, they're extremely slow. Even Tomcat can pass these missiles. But yeah, 100 kilometers is it's quite impressive. They also turn quite slow. Go, missile, go. Oh, it lost it. There it is. Missile out. And it's slowly going. Boop. Direct hit, direct hit. Basically, you can launch it to the spawn. It's not 100% reliable. It can lose the target. Just like sparrows do time to time. Air superiority. <laughs> That's what I say. Also, the new bird sound. Inside. A BTR ZD. BR 4.3. A really slick looking SPAA. Look at this hole. Looks kind of futuristic. Look at the hand of the gunner. That's insane. <laughs> How do you do that? That could be the fastest hand in War Thunder. This dude is a machine. The magazine is not that large. Also, we have six crewmates. You gotta be kidding me. What the hell? Oh, but four of them kind of packed up together at the front. Okay. Frontally, we can pan Panzer three. This thing will be a killer. By the way, be advised that uh, things you see here might change on the release. SU-17 M4. Is it even worth looking at? Looks like this. Here's the loadout. Kronstadt. Sounds German. But... It's a cool looking ship. We have a new premium. As developer says... As developer from the stream set, this is a counterattack to the terms. I mean, it's a challenger. Come on, guys. What counterattack you talking about? 410 millimeters of pen, 450 millimeter of thickness. Yeah, basically same challenger from the tech tree. Maybe a bit of difference, but I'm not going to look at it. If you're a new player, challengers are basically the worst MBTs at this BR. HMS Hood, the largest ship of the Royal Navy, and also the ship that got sunk by Bismarck in six minutes. Uh, this thing made for fighting heavy cruisers, not battleships. 
Barely fitting to the screen when you look sideways. The Mighty Hood. ZTZ 99A. Nah. Paper, paper. But apparently... So apparently, this binocular here, it's a laser that blinds the enemy's gunner. So remember that sonic wave cannon from the April Fools? That thing might be relatable to this defensive weapon. But maybe it's gonna blind automatically or you have to do it manually. But yeah, it's a cool feature. Will be a game changer if devs gonna activate it. 1.7 Lancia. Legendary. Guys, this is legendary. Look at this thing. And it looks like a pirate cannon. Like, you know, those explosive squash head shell. 70 millimeters of pen. More penetration than this thingy. And you can take 72 of them. Where do you store them even? This little boxes. Bam. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. This is not even the craziest Italian vehicle. I also know of a car where wheels are much more closer. It's like a square car with the same cannon. Let's see if developers will add it in future. That will be a true meme car. We also have a VBC, BR of 8.7, located at the right branch. 92 millimeters of penetration, thermal vision. Laser warning system, it can scout as well. Barrel break, barrel break. On the side shots like that. Back wheel is turning as well. Good. And reverse speed is good as well. It's really huge in size though, look at this. Also we have the G6 at the right branch, 7.0 of BR. This is the highlight. A really slick looking machinery. Third doesn't turn 360. And also, we have ammo in the worst place possible. The front looks like a Formula 1 car. And we have driver in front with the closed window. How are you gonna see where you drive? Huh? Six crewmates. Thermal vision. Oh, that's interesting for artillery. Ooh, long reloading time. Not good. Definitely a design mistake that it doesn't turn 360. I'm not fast as well. What the hell, Gaijin? They kind of promoted it as a flanker tank. But with this speed, you're not going anywhere. It's huge as well. Well, I'm kind of disappointed. Doesn't have a stabilizer. I have a slow reload. No machine gun as well. In a trailer it, it was going like 60 kilometers per hour. But here it barely climbs to 30. And loses everything in a turn. That's a disaster. Mephisto. With the spooky name at the left branch. Please be fast. Please be fast. The angry brother of the volley. It's coming to avenge all suffered volley players. What's going on it in the background? Yo, can you get away? He's doing an engine show. <laughs> Are you mocking me? Look at that. Are you trying to start a fight? <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous, guy, Jin. What the hell? Wow. Now that's a new mechanic. When your premium ends, 
the vehicles passing will start to annoy you let's check out the modifications we have smoke screen thermal vision and ATGM with the 700 millimeters of pen yes feels much more mobile cannot fire on the move thermal vision first generation oh that's a new engine sound by the way Sounds cool. Okay. Here's the ATGM. You cannot launch rapidly. When you launch the second one, the first one just goes down. Look at that. Now it's reloading. Cool transformation. nice it also can turn 360 beautiful huge buff to the 8.3 friends congratulations four crew members minus 10 vertical guidance jet fighter for the friends let's check it out Here's the weaponry. Oh god, terrible missiles. Oh god. Does it have a ballistic computer though? Let's check it out because I see some bomb loadout. Ballistic computer aim for the bomb. Congratulations. A good guess. Let's see if it drops it with pair. Ah. Okay, last two, one by one. So, four drops in total. I mean, four drops is still eh, something. It's not like uh, SU-7's six drop bombs. There's also 250 kilo bombs. There is 10 of them. One, two, three, four. And those last bombs probably five and six. So six drops. Maybe you should take this one. But bombs are much more weaker, so set them to assault fuse. They will be more efficient. One for you. And one for you. But too bad there's only one 9.7 tank in the French lineup. And it's not the best one. Better than nothing. Picky Wiki 3. Lower BR. Located at... 2.7 have much more smaller caliber gun do i even need to test it guys i mean come on this thing is a bit boring merkawa 3b another copy paste tank we have a lot of merkawas a lot of i don't see nothing unique just the merkawa and also to the soviet mig 17 they're adding napalm bomb it still has explosive mass in it, so maybe it will have a splash area. So yeah, as soon as you drop these bombs, the area will burn. And if vehicle is driving over it, the components will get damaged. Maybe wheels will melt. Here we go, napalm out. There we go. And apparently they gonna improve this animation. Whoa, fire is already over. Also the grass and trees will burn. So some sort of a new mechanic as well. I hope it will not drop FPS. Yeah, on the grass it extinguish much slower. Cool mechanic. Let's see how it will damage the tanks in the game. So that was the reveal. Tell me in the comment section for which vehicle you're excited about. And I'll see you in the next one and peace out.